There was a time when magnetic cubes didn't exist. Cubes had tons of problems. Overshooting, popping, most were unstable, and tons of those problems are now solved with magnets. So, are magnetic cubes a thing that picks off at the core of cubing, or are they just a sprinkle of innovative revolution? Well, my opinion is that magnetic cubes are just innovation. If you say that magnetic cubes are considered harm to the cubing community, you're just saying that every cuber has to use Rubik's brand. Magnets help refine speed cubes to bring speed cubing forward, and without refining and innovating, wood records will probably come in much slower, and speed cubes will be boring, slow, and they probably won't be called speed cubes at all. Those little changes to the cube don't affect solves that much. It probably will drop most intermediate cubers' times by a few seconds, but for those advanced, world-class cubers, magnets will probably just drop a few milliseconds, which is obviously not so much compared to some other innovative ideas, such as when the first actual speed cubes came out. In other words, although magnetic cubes and other innovative designs make getting lower times a little easier, it definitely doesn't take away the skill you need to get world level times. You still will need to practice, and for most cubers, switching to magnetic puzzles will just probably cut down a few fractions of a second. Which just isn't that much, especially when averaging higher than sub 10, those few fractions of a second just don't affect the solve that much. Magnets should stay, and I, and I hope that cubing will get taken to the next level very very soon. And that wraps up the video for today. Just comment down what you think of this topic, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!